Noah Erb opens up about communicating challenges with deaf fiancé, a heartfelt journey. Abigail Herringer made history as the first deaf contestant on The Bachelor. She met and fell in love with Noah Erb on season 7 of Bachelor in Paradise. The two left the beach single but quickly reunited and are now engaged. Noah Erb recently opened up about the struggles of communicating with his deaf fiance. Keep reading for how he handles it. Abigail Herringer and Noah Erb's relationship definitely doesn't fit the conventional bachelor pairing. When neither found love on The Bachelor or The Bachelorette, they joined Bachelor in Paradise for another chance. The two connected immediately, but their relationship wasn't strong enough to end the season with an engagement like Joe Amabel and Serena Pitt. Viewers were shocked by Abigail and Noah's unexpected and heart-wrenching breakup. However, they revealed shortly after the VIP season finale that they were back together. But they still didn't rush into an engagement. Noah Erb popped the question in 2023 after two years of dating. The couple is taking their time before walking down the aisle. They've been focused on renovating the home they bought in Oklahoma. As their home comes together, it seems the couple is finally ready to plan their wedding. Abigail Herringer took to her Instagram story this week to share that they did some wedding planning, though she didn't go into detail. Abigail Herringer was born deaf and has had a cochlear implant since she was a toddler. During her time on The Bachelor and Bachelor in Paradise, she was never shown to have any difficulty understanding anyone, but how realistic was that? According to Noah Erb, his deaf fiance sometimes has trouble understanding him, and he has to repeat things several times. How does he feel about that? During an Instagram he and a he confessed that it can get annoying at times. When family and friends come over, they hear me repeat something five or ten times and it can be annoying sometimes, he explained, according to the Bachelor Nation blog. However, he said he quickly admonished himself in those situations not to be in, he continued. Once I remember that I would appreciate it if people repeated themselves if I was deaf, I don't have a problem repeating myself. Abigail and Noah have been doing a home reno on their own. One fan wanted to know how they plan to make their place accessible for a deaf person. Noah shared, I've been doing research, but send anything my way that would make Abby's life easier. I want to make special accommodations in our house. He added, I have seen a couple of cool companies that do things like strobes and vibrations and I'm looking into it. What do you think about Noah Erb's admission that communicating with his deaf fiance can be annoying sometimes? Sound off in the comments.